Good day everyone, Brad here with another mock alternate build of the LEGO Icons Camaro. This is the Vengeance Batmobile. I call it that because they call him that in the movie a lot. So this is from the 2022 The Batman movie. So let's take a closer look at some of the details. And here we are with the 2022 Batmobile. This one was a lot of fun to make, a lot of tricky details to get the shape right. It was kind of running low on some of the pieces. All of it is from the Camaro set with the exception of these wheel caps. So I do want to point out that it's just one wheel and then six little uh, round plates on it. So there's four of those and 24 of those that are added to the car. Everything else is from the set. I will have this available on Rebrickable if you're interested in making it. But I'm going to go over some of the details starting with the shape. I wasn't very happy with the Technic one as far as its design because it didn't look right. So you'll see I have this model here which is spot on to the movie. And I feel like I captured the curves right and more of the details and some of the sharper angles like towards the back of the car. So this is actually what I used to reference when building the car the whole time I was making it I was looking at that model right there. So we've got that and the steering is controlled from the steering wheel so i'd like to point that out i had to use the smaller wheel with the set because the other one was too big and this car is quite wide i've seen this vehicle in real life and it is very very wide i feel like i could have made it one or two more studs wider but there probably wouldn't have been enough pieces for that another feature i added is you can add a light brick if you'd like so up here on the hood kind of hard to do with the one hand here but this component pops out and you can get a light brick if you have an extra one and you insert it in there it's kind of bright out now so you may not even notice if I put it in but you push it all the way down and it'll stay on there we go so this is what you can kind of see a little bit but in the dark it looks a lot better you'll see it through here and even through the front grille I purposely left that open so you could see light show up through there another cool thing is uh, I got these little cards from a buddy of mine uh, Bill he has a laser engraver so he's been making these for me for a lot of my mocks so we got that one I like to display it with the car he even made me a red one because <laughs> the Batman so I'll put a link to his website uh, down below. I don't know if he will at some point take orders for stuff like that, but I really like to have that with the car. And moving around the back, you'll see we've got the engine. I feel like I was able to capture the details pretty good with the limited pieces. And then the tail lights, some little just the curves, the details here. These can be adjusted. The exhaust, if you feel like you want it a little higher or lower. And then one thing I do want to point out about the build is down here, this little bar is pretty fragile. So when picking the car up, you kind of want to go around that, or if you grab it from here, the car is sturdy. Overall, the build is sturdy, but just this little piece here can break off quite easily. And that is pretty much it for the details in this car. One last thing I'll show you is over on this side. There is a little bit of a nitrous here because there's only one seat. So the Technic one actually has two seats because I feel like they got images of the car early before the movie was finished and they can actually see this stuff. So that happens with Lego a lot. They don't get to see a whole lot of detail. That's like Kylo Ren's ship. That's why it only has, a, when it initially came out, the wings couldn't go down because they just had some concept pictures to work with so they didn't know they could go down. All right, that is gonna do it for this alternate build of the Camaro, mostly alternate build. Um, again, it's kind of funny because on the other side, I didn't put caps on. I feel like I didn't need to. So that's what it'll look like if you add the extra pieces. I will have the instructions and the link down below on Rebrickable. If you have any questions about the build or you ran into challenges along the way, please let me know and I'll help you out. So that is gonna do it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.